In this video, we are going to see how to share YouTube videos to Facebook page. So let's say that you have uploaded a new video on YouTube and what you want is you want to share a post informing your followers on Facebook about your YouTube video. How can you do that? For this, you will have to set up some integration between YouTube and Facebook so that every time a new video is uploaded there, automatically a page post should be created on Facebook. Now, the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. And how can you do this, integrate and automate this entire process? To understand that, let me take you to my screen. In this video, I'm going to show you every time you upload a video on your YouTube channel, how automatically it can be shared on your Facebook page as a link. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. And as we do that here, we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab, sign up. It won't take more than two minutes. And yes, at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user here. And here we have reached the all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. Here we have reached the dashboard of this application. Again, on the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here, my objective is to share YouTube videos to Facebook page. So every time a new video is uploaded on my YouTube channel, then automatically it should be shared on my Facebook page. So now I'm going to click on create. So as I do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens. Action is do this. Basically, action here is the response of our trigger application. Now here, what would be our first application? It would be YouTube. So let's click on this. As we do that here, we have to now select the trigger event. This is the event that will make your workflow start. And here I'm going to select new video in channel with video URL. So this workflow will trigger when a new video is added in a channel and retrieves video details with URL. So I'm going to click on this. Now here on the right hand side, you can see that this trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes which basically means that this trigger application has a polling time of 10 minutes and the workflows will run after every 10 minutes to fetch for new data. So once this is done, I'm going to click on connect. So here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the YouTube account. Let's select add new connection and click on connect with YouTube. Here we have to select the account. So once selected, here we have to provide the additional access. Let's click on continue. And here we can see that the authorization has been successful. Now here we have received the channel name, but we have to map the channel ID. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to toggle this towards the right. And from where can we get the channel ID? Let me take you to my YouTube account. And now I'm going to take you to my channel. So as I take you here, so here in the URL, you can see this is your channel ID. So I'm going to copy this. Go back to Pabli Connect and this is exactly the same. So I'm just going to paste this. Okay, so we have to remove the channel part. So this is our channel ID. Now once done, I'm going to click on save and send test request. Now as I do that, it has given me the API response and this is the response of the last video uploaded on YouTube. So here let me show you. So this is the last video that was uploaded an hour ago the name is big waves rushing to the shore and if i show you the api response here you can see this is the name of our video and then as i take you up this is the video url this is the embedded url now once you have received this your objective is that this should be shared on your facebook page so the next action application here would be facebook pages let's click on this and now the action event here would be to create a page post. Let's click on this and click on connect. So once done here again, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Facebook pages account. Now to set up this connection, I'm going to click on add new connection and then connect with Facebook pages. Here again, we have to confirm the account. So once done, 
Here we can see that the authorization has been successful, which means that Pabli Connect is now connected with Facebook pages. Once done, here we have to map the name of the page, access token, message and link URL. Now to get these details, first I'm going to take you to my Facebook account. So this is the Facebook account that I have and I've got multiple pages over here. So these are the various pages that I've already created. Now I'm talking about the specific page, which is Pabli Tech. So this is the page and here I want that Every time a video is uploaded on my YouTube channel, then automatically it should get shared on this Pabli Tech page. So taking you back to Pabli Connect, here I'm going to select Pabli Tech. Here it is. The system has already generated the page access token, so we do not have to do anything about that. Now the message. So let's say I'm going to write, hey, I have uploaded a new video on my youtube channel check it out okay so this is my message and now i have to map the link url how do we map so as i click on this it is going to show me the previous steps and as i go here this is the url this is known as mapping map mapping is important so that every time the workflow runs it would be able to capture the new data otherwise if i write this manually Every time the workflow runs, it will never take the new data. It will be confined to the manually written data. So that's why mapping is important. So once this is done, I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here we have received the API response, which basically means that this video should be shared on my Facebook page. So now I'm going to take you to the Facebook page, Pabli Tech. Let's refresh this page. And here you can see that yes, the video link has been shared. Hey, I have uploaded a new video on my YouTube channel. Check it out. And as I click on this, then people would be able to reach my video. So that is it. Now, this basically means that our integration process is a success. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my YouTube channel and here I'm going to upload another video to check this in real time. So let's select the files. So let's say it's about beautiful video on beautiful earth. And now the description. So I'm going to write the same description quickly. And then as I scroll down here, no, it is not made for kids. Now let's click on next. And once we do that here, I'm going to make this public and publish. So once this has happened here, you can see that a video has been posted. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Tech page and let's refresh the page. Here we can see that the video has not yet been uploaded. Why? Because it has a polling time of 10 minutes. So now we are supposed to wait for 10 minutes so that the video can be uploaded here. So I'm going to come back in 10 minutes to check if our integration is a success. So it's been 10 minutes and here you can see once I've refreshed the page, the post is here. And this is beautiful video on beautiful earth, which basically means that our integration process is a complete success. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to understand what we have done. So this is an extremely easy two step integration process where our trigger application is YouTube. The event that we have selected is new video in channel with video URL. Then action application is Facebook pages. And here the event is create page post. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the description box. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any particular integration that you wish to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.